drama, scandal, book prizes. Hey book buddies, the book world is in a flurry of excitement this morning uh, because the shortlist for the Women's Prize for Fiction 2018 has been announced earlier than expected. It was supposed to be announced this evening, Monday evening, but instead it was announced this morning on BBC Radio 4 and uh, they were quite cryptic about the reasons for that. Um, apparently the, the list was leaked by somebody. Um, I'm sure all the details will be revealed in time, but anyway we know the shortlist now so I thought I would give my quick reactions to it um, since I did manage to read the whole big long list and so here are the six books um, there's The Mermaid and Mrs. Hancock, The Idiot, Sight by Jesse Greengrass, uh, When I Hit You by Mina Kandasami, Homefire, and Sin Unburied Sin. So these are the six books and I have to say it's like a pretty good list. Over the weekend I posted on my blog uh, my predictions for what I thought would be on the shortlist and I got four of them right. The last book that I read from the long list was The Mermaid and Mrs. Hancock and I enjoyed it so much. You know this is a story that I just wanted to keep going back to and going back to because it was so much fun and then it got really surprisingly emotional. So I'm so glad to see it on the list and Sight is just one of the most extraordinary novels that I've read in a long time. So, so glad to see this incredibly thoughtful but also like deeply feeling novel on the list. When I Hit You was one of my favorite books that I read last year and it's such a powerful and impactful novel. And Home Fire was a novel that I was sort of um, dreading a bit like going to because I'd read a book by Camilla Shamsi before and just hadn't really connected with me but I thought Home Fire was extraordinary like it, it's a really gripping story um, but also really beautifully told and topical and Sin Unburied Sin I, I was sort of expecting this to be on the list but personally I didn't really connect with this novel as I know a lot of other people have and it's already won the National Book Award in America so it's one of those books that I'm sort of thinking that like well it must be me it's 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 not the book and then finally The Idiot now this is uh, what in Britain uh, they call a real Marmite book because some people really love it and some people uh, really hated it. So it'll be interesting to see now with uh, more people's reactions to it uh, what people make of it. But I have to say I've enjoyed this whole process of reading the entire long list because you know some people get really jaded and tired of book prizes but I think it's great to have this platform to celebrate and have a, a reason to discuss all these different books and it's really interesting with this long list in particular to see the juxtaposition of some really different kinds of novels and then seeing some subject matter that traces through um, some different kinds of novels like reading them against each other I was surprised how there was a sort of overlap in subject matter and how they approached um, some subjects from a different angle and I was really happy to see like two books that I read last summer Happy and A Boy in Winter um, which I really adored and I just felt like they weren't um, discussed or talked about all that much so it's great that these have been on the long list and more people have been reading them and discussing them and then also like book prizes give us uh, a chance to raise larger questions like what is a novel like I've heard um, criticism of of both uh, sight and When I Hit You that um, some people don't think these are really novels because they blend in elements of nonfiction and essay and memoir writing and so like it's these, these larger questions um, come up of like well what is a novel and so that makes us think about uh, why we read the books that we do, what we get out of them, how we classify them. So I'm glad that book prizes give us this platform to talk about all these issues that have to do with the reading life. But anyway there we go, um, this is the short List. So let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Are there any books you wanted to see on the shortlist um, that aren't here? If you haven't read all of these books, um, which are you most interested to read now? And what do you want to see when? I hope you all have a great week and I will speak to you again soon.